Young World, what's the deal? It's your boy, Original, back with another one for y'all, man. Now, check this out. I was thinking, like, man, you know, based on my research, I'm like, man, we really been colonized out here, man. We really been, you know what I'm saying, whitewashed out here, man. And I feel like it's important, you know, based on my research, I feel like it's important important that we open our ancient eyes. Now, I'm about to explain exactly what I'm talking about, why I feel like it's important to open your ancient eyes, what it means to be colonized, and you know what I'm saying, why I feel like this is the main reason we forgot rule number one. And if y'all don't know what rule number one is in a book, Rule number one is know thyself, know yourself. You got to know yourself. And it has been systematically set up for you to forget yourself. And the goal, the purpose of life right now, you know, if you don't, I don't care what age you is. The purpose is to regain your memory. That's the main, because when you leave here, all you all, the only thing that you have is your memory, right? And, you know, that's this, it's this thing called cycles of life. You know, some people go through multiple cycles of life just to regain a memory, you know, fully so they can transition because you haven't fully remembered who you are yet. Now, I want to go over this, like, because we going through a period of colonization. Like, we went through a period of colonization. It's still going on. Same people that, you know, did all of the colonizing. You know, made the 13 colonies. You know what I'm saying? The Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? Everything is, you know, them. You know, all of the religion, the business, the government, the money, finance, that is... They run the world. And why I feel like it's important to open your ancient eyes, even this, in this financial system, even in this system we live in, you know, it is important. You know, I don't want y'all to, I just want y'all to understand how important this is. Like more than having money, just having a sense of character on the inside of who you are and to never forget this because what colonization is like, like imagine, this is what colonization is like. Like imagine if you had a kid, right? Imagine if you had a kid and you know, at nine months, at nine months, they was taken away from you. And you didn't see your child, you didn't see your kid till they was 27 years old. Like it was like them there, 33 years old. Oh, do you think they would have the beliefs that you hold, the principles, the way you look at life, you know, the your outlook, the connections you have to people? Do you think they would remember any of that? Even though they are related to that, even though that's their blood, even though they wouldn't be able to tell if that's their sister, brother. They, they might look at you and see similarities, but they wouldn't know you. They wouldn't know you at all at that point. They wouldn't know nothing about you. And that's what happened. But the separation was like 400 some. It was, it, it stretched back. They say 40 years, but it stretched back. And I'm saying that to let y'all know, like our separation from our mother, let's just call the original ancestors, our knowledge, our mother, you know, our separation from her, that, that source, you know what I'm saying, has been so long that we have forgot. We have picked up ways of the motherfucking colonizer, of the suppressor. You know what I'm saying? Black don't even look beautiful to some people no more. You know, I know a lot of people are moving into this, but, you know, black to some people, you know, didn't look beautiful until the Europeans start injecting their bodies and, you know what I'm saying, doing all type of stuff to keep up. But, you know, you naturally have that, and I feel like we need to embrace 
all of the aspects of being black from our hair, our skin color, the way we talk. We set culture. We create this shit. You know what I'm saying? Over and over, it's been examples of us creating this shit. You know, we got to embrace ourselves and we got to love ourselves from the darkest hue. You know, embrace black because it's powerful. It's, you know, ancient. And when I say black, anybody that has melanin or is considered a minority on earth, you you black. You, our Puerto Rican, Dominican, Mexican, uh, African, uh, Indian, uh, you black. Stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? If any of y'all was going from uh, my, going going against Charlie, the Boy Scout. You know what I'm saying? In a corporate world position, Charlie is going to get the promotion before you. So, you're minority, you have melanin, you're black. Right? And it's important to open our ancient eyes. And when I talk about our ancient eyes, I'm talking about the eyes of Horus. I'm talking about seeing things from a point of view of the interconnectedness of the world. Looking past... It's deeper than religion. You know, it's it's a spiritual vibe. It's, it's a spiritual vibe where you looking at, you know, the cycles in nature and the universe and the planetary history, the galactic history, you know, um, the, the history of mankind and you understanding, you know, it's deeper than what our oppressors have taught us. And knowing this information and, you know, not, you know, dabbling back with, you know, the oppressor's way of being. Like, we have to fully embrace all of our glory, all of our excellence, everything we've done in the ancient culture and the things we're capable of now. We got to fully embrace ourselves. You know, I feel like opening your ancient eyes is knowing the truth about our oppressors. And to begin to move into a a more spiritual way of being, like how we used to be, moving our, our dollar back into our community and, you know, really gaining power on a sp more spiritual level. You know, no disrespect to anybody that's, you know, a, a so-called Christian, but you are one of them. You are one of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here, you know, tapping in with the source and you, you like, and it's like you, you breastfeeding from the oppressor, the colonizer, you know what I'm saying? No matter what, yo, I understand and I understand my black people that are, that do believe in their religion, you know what I'm saying? It was literally the only thing, the women, because the women survived and they were tortured. You know what I'm saying? They was raped, molested, all type of stuff. Had babies uh, with the, all type of stuff. The strong men, the people we really need to talk to, the people who really had the knowledge, executed, hung from trees. Out of there, boy. You know what I'm saying? And all they had was that. All they had was that religion. They passed it down. So a lot of black people, we believe in that because of our grandmas. Out of everybody, I bet, you know, anybody... You could be Dominican, you be Mexican. You believe in that because of your grandma, out of respect for her. And she, and you got to understand all of the lies and the manipulation that happened before that because out of respect for your grandma, if she would have remembered, if, if our families, if our families would have remembered our original language in a, in a sense, our original script, our original way of being, and they passed that down to us, you would respect that over everything. You would respect that over. You wouldn't look toward nothing else but that. And what I'm trying to tell y'all is that our ancestors, man, they believed in this shit. They believed in the universe and the elements of our code. And they knew how all of this stuff worked with sound, frequency, numbers, and, you know, mathematics. It was a supreme mathematics. They understood the universe and cycles of the sun and how the moon played a part in seasons and they understood the transitions, man. And it was a science. It was a science. It was a spiritual science, man. 
and we've been, you know, it's been condensed to, you know, this painting that everybody just believe in, not knowing that it was created in the image. Like God literally created us in this image. And these people, they took that, they took that, you know, they took that idea and they made their own image. And you're not knowing that he first made you, he first made the image of you, but it was in such a grand light, man. It was such a long time ago. It's hidden in temples and throughout different parts of the world, but it's a grid. It's literally a, a fucking grid, you know, like energetic NATO points of the world where they knew, you know, where the source of the energy was and they left keys, you know, and blueprints along the way. And, uh, you know, I ain't saying this to convert anybody to nothing because at this point, you know, I'm, I'm my own guy. You know, I take full responsibility for my life and what I'm doing. And, you know, I believe my thoughts create my reality. And, you know, I work with my ancestors because I believe, you know, we have an interdimensional connection, you know, and our thoughts are always mirrored back to us. Our reality is always mirrored back to us. It's like a, a function that was made, you know, in the creation of the human life. Our bodies are, are so intelligent. Like, our mind, everything had a purpose. Like, they were so intelligent. Our creators made this. And they and they will be considered like space people because they 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 already experienced our world already like they time traveled the shit and literally like understood the shit through divine order like it's deep like I could break this shit down for hours but you know how I understand it is different like how I understand it is different and I'm not on here like trying to you know just convert nobody to nothing man I'm just like y'all like. I, you know, you will see me in the street, not even know I I think like this, but I do. You know what I'm saying? And I I don't convince nobody of nothing. I, don't, I just do what's right in my heart and what I believe and what what's gonna be good for my memory and my transition and you know what I feel like. I life too short to believe in what another motherfucker believe in. You know what I'm saying? I'm just sharing my beliefs because I know you know it's somebody that's equal to me out there. You know, and that they understand and like, you know, and get what I'm saying and that this message is for. So it's your boy Young World. Uh make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications for your boy. We dropping every day, man. Uh it's quarantine. Y'all know we still on we still on that. And um, you know, we we still we still on that too. We still on that too. So you know, all of this is necessary, man. Don't let no people that's overly spiritual tell you that, you know, you don't need money. You need money. Don't think money is gonna just solve all your emotional issues. Money does give you energy. It gives you, you know, freedom to move around and do shit and you need in the systematic governed world you need money.